Hello and welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we'll be looking at the mod Windswept, a Forge 1.19.2 mod created by Rose underscore of Team Galena. Windswept is a mod that's all about expanding on the winter biomes in Minecraft, whether that's adding new tools, trees, food, etc. And we'll be looking at all of it. This mod is also compatible with the following. Quark, Farmer's Delight, Berry Good, Woodworks, Boatload, and just enough items. We'll start with a mostly disconnected part of the mod, but I'm sure it will tie onto the rest of the features in the mod in the future. First, Birch Forest Tweaks. The main and only tweak in the birch forest that I'm aware of is the fact that branches now spawn on the trees. You can see here that birch logs now stick out the main logs horizontally, giving the trees more personality in my opinion. But that's really it for the birch forest tweaks. Now, let's dive into the new plants of this mod. The snowy sprouts, nightshades, bluebells, and foxgloves. The snowy sprouts will spawn in most winter biomes, nightshades and foxgloves will spawn in the taiga, and the bluebells will spawn in the dark oak forest as well as the birch forest. There is one more set of flowers that we have not talked about yet. The rose flowers. There are the roses, and then the rose bushes. Windswept adds the blue, blue, yellow, oh wait, blue, white, yellow, red, and pink roses, as well as retexturing the wither rose to fit the set of the, rose, of the new roses texture. And yes, you heard me. This mod adds the red rose to Minecraft again. <laughs> red and yellow roses can be found in the taiga biomes, but the blue, white, and pink roses are found in any of the winter biomes. Along with the roses are their own rose bushes, which are the same as the normal tent roses, but they're bush variants. This mod also retextures the original rose bush to fit the new ro red rose, which is actually not true. I will point out that my script was entirely wrong. Uh, the the normal rose bush and the red rose bush are completely different blocks, but plants might change in the future. But we'll just have to see. Let's dig into some. Let's dig into some of the new food items that this mod adds. The first food source is the mud and pie. The mud and pie can be crafted with wheat and egg, sugar and cooked mudden. This thing looks. It sounds disgusting, but it probably gives good hunger bars. The next food item is Shevin. Shevin is a meat source that comes directly from goats. Once you, once you harvest the meat, once you harvest the meat, you can cook it and then eat it. I'm not gonna eat it since it feels wrong for to me to uh, eat goats, but you can do it if you want, I guess. You can also make goat stew with shevin. The crafting recipe is a bowl, cooked shevin, baked potato, carrot, and brown mushroom. Another food source is this frozen flesh stuff. Ew. It's basically rotten flesh, except it's frozen. It does have a unique mechanic though, and that's that you can smelt it into leather. As you see right here, I am smelting the frozen flesh with... In the furnace and just in a second this guy will be giving me some nice old leather there we go yeah now you may be asking where do you get this item do you put rotten flesh in powdered snow do you submerge a zombie in snow and steal their flesh the answer is kind of let me introduce to you, currently, the only mob in the mod, the, the Chilled. The Chilled is a brand new hostile mob that replaces the zombie in cold biomes. They shake, and they are also what zombies, husks, and drowns turn into when they're left in powdered snow. That's basically it. Other than two things. When a skeleton kills a Chilled, the Chilled drops a new music disc called oh god oh god it drops a new music disc called snow 
And when a skeleton kills a drowned, the drowned drops a new music disc called Rain. Oh god. Called Rain. <laughs> They're both bops, but I'm not gonna play them just because I'm terrified of the idea of copyright. Just for the sake of a longer and closer look of the disc, uh, here you go. And they look pretty cool. Once again, they're really good music discs, but I'm not going to play them just because I'm terrified of copyright. But let's move on. The final thing about the chilled. On occasion, you can see them wearing some pretty fly boots. And now you're probably wondering, how do I get my hands on those? Well, boy, do I have a treat for you. These things are called... Oh my god. These things are called snow boots. And they're pretty useful in walking and wandering in some dangerous areas of the Winterlands. Not only do they make it so you don't fall through powdered snow, but they also make you much faster on snow. They kind of work like Soul Speed boots, except for snow. Like leather, you can dye them however you want. And also, you can craft them using leather and iron. Whoa, man, I am so fast. I'm gonna be able to travel the world with the- What are you? These are the new wild berry bushes, which hold a new food source. The wild berries. They're found in parts of the world that are in slightly high altitude. It can be crafted into two things. The wild berry bowl and the wild berry juice. The wild berry juice is very useful, actually, as it works as an early game way of having a regen bottle, due to the giving 15 seconds of regen when you drink it. Also, along with the wild berry bowl, you can also make a sweet berry bowl. Both of the bowls have three times the saturation than the things they were made of, which is pretty good. There is a new tool in Windswept. The wooden bucket! The wooden bucket works as a version of the iron bucket, but it's early game, before the player even has iron. The wooden bucket has 24 uses, and can't hold lava, because that's impossible. It's wooden. Windswept also adds a few new decoration blocks, such as the snow brick blocks. The ice blocks, well, ice brick blocks, but whatever. And the blue ice brick blocks. All of the blocks are very cool and nice, and I'll definitely be using them in my builds. Now, let's go over the final big thing. The two new trees. The first tree we'll look into is the chestnut tree. You can find chestnut trees sparse, sparsely around forest biomes in the world, like this one. You can easily pick them out as they are tall, and they wear their leaves like a weird hat. When breaking, these, when breaking these things, you can also get chestnuts, which you can roast and eat. Then there's the holly tree, which replaces spruce trees in this uh, very disappointing grove biome. They have prickly leaves, which can be harmful. When you break the leaves, holly berries will fall down. Holly berries will poison you if you, try, if you try to eat them, as you see here. But they can be used for brewing. Holly berries can help concoct a new potion called prickling, aka the thorns effect. This works like the thorns enchantment, but it's a potion, and you don't need armor for it. So basically, on occasion, it will, in fact, hurt the stupid animal. Come on. There we go. These I'm actually about to be bested by a stupid... No, uh, no, 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 man. Now, I will say, these wood types look very nice and cozy. You should definitely try making a winter house with them. That's really it for the big things in this mod. So before we look into some of the gameplay tweaks, we'll quickly go over some of the smaller additions to this mod. This mod adds 
polished deep slate pressure plates and buttons, which I didn't even know weren't in vanilla Minecraft. Three new banner patterns, such as the snow charge, the snow golem, and the rose flower. There is also a new curse enchantment called Curse of Slipping, which causes your boots to make you slip like you're on ice all the time. There are also ice sheets, which is basically just glass but ice. And then this mod tweaks the igloo by using some of the building blocks this mod adds, like the snow bricks and Hollywood. Finally, some gameplay tweaks include a configurable option to nerf ice boating, strays always replacing skeletons in snowy biomes, uh, powdered snow particles, and dark oak leaves retexture, which, as you can see, looks a tiny bit different from the oak leaves texture now. From what I know, all of these changes, besides the dark oak leaves retexture, can be changed to the config files, which means you're always in control. And that's it for Windswept. This was created by Rose, who is part of Team Galena. This mod, <laughs> who's made other mods like Organize and Overweight Farming. This mod requires Bluepin to run as a Forge only mod. Do not go harass the creators of this mod to port the mod to a newer version or to Fabric. No mod creator likes that. This mod will be the link in the description so you can go check it out for yourselves. And I hope you have a good day. Hopefully you watched the video whole whole way through and hope you subscribed. Bye bye.